go. Amuse yourselves. <laughs> Which way? There. Polaris. Polaris, she's been abducted. Indeed, Charles. It appears we both have a grievance with Apocalypse. Sabretooth has just informed us that a citizen of Genosha has escaped. Unfortunately, she's hurt, and in an area known as the Dead Zone. Who is it? A young woman named Blink. Sabretooth had gone to Genosha to rescue her. That don't sound right. Sabretooth tried to save someone. Don't think too hard on it, Tiny. Cause he wouldn't ever save an X-Man. Question is, who's gonna save you, Bullethead? Cut it out, you two. Let the professor talk. Let's get one thing straight, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. See? It's just like I told you, Psych. Juggernaut ain't housebroken yet. Gentlemen, please. Let us focus on more important matters. Who's Blink? She's a very gifted mutant, with the ability to teleport. So she's like Nightcrawler? Only in the vaguest sense. Blink can teleport as far away as the moon. Wow, that sure leaves the elf in the dust. Did you say Blink might be hurt? Yes. She was injured while attempting to teleport out of Genosha. And that is why a team of you is needed to immediately begin searching the dead zone for this young woman. Good luck to you. Let me begin this meeting by saying I'm encouraged by how well our venture went with Blink. Like I care what you think, little brother. Watch it, Jugs. You better mind your manners. I'm guessing your mutant power is the ability to absorb pain. Cause no one talks to me like that. I'm not looking for a fight. All I want is for you to show Professor Xavier a little respect. Like the respect you X-Men have been showing us? Oh, that's bloody rich. Ever since you come to Genosha, you've been treating us like we got the plague. If you ask me, you're all a bunch of uptight snobs. Y'all better watch your tongue, Toad, before I decide to take it for a trophy. Silence! Let Xavier speak. Thank you, Eric. To free Genosha, we must first acquire the security codes for the city's doors. Doesn't Magneto already know them? No. The codes were computer-generated daily and transmitted to the airships. I can only hope Apocalypse hasn't figured out how to generate new codes. So the airships out in the dead zone should contain the latest security codes? Correct. And that is why a team is needed to venture further into the dead zone. There they can retrieve access codes from the computer of a downed airship. Ha! Maybe you better save me for a bigger mission. This one sounds like it's gonna be a cakewalk. We can only hope. Be on your way, and be on your guard. Good luck. You did a commendable job of locating the Genosha security code. With that, we can now enter the city. 
Mmm, but old Apocalypse has got the gods posted on every door. That place is locked up tight in the croc's jaw. Mm -hmm. There's an entrance near the seawall that's not being watched. I know the door you speak of. It was buried months ago during an earthquake. Right you are, Wanda. You got it all. Beauty and intelligence. A man would be bloody lucky to have the affections of a woman like you, he would. Oh, please, show some self-respect. What? Wanda's correct. But during the attack on Genosha, Apocalypse unleashed genetically enhanced creatures known as the Circe. They're mindless carnivorous insects. They breed at a highly accelerated rate. Unchecked, they could overrun the entire island in a matter of months. They've already created a sizable nest, one which appears to be to our advantage. The X-Man, Angel, followed the tunnels and discovered the Circe have unearthed the door that had been buried. Well, no worries then. I'll just wear me some bug stomping boots and ooh, we be at that door in no time at all. Gambit, the Circe grow to the size of a man and they can crush rock with their mandibles. Oh, well that's not so good. Which is why an entire team is needed to battle through the tunnels to the door. Once there, you'll be able to use the security code and enter into a back area of Genosha. Good luck to you. You did well, battling your way through the Circe tunnels and defeating Zealot. But now, a much bigger challenge awaits us. <laughs> the X-Men survived the worst you've thrown at us. So it's not like Apocalypse is gonna slow us down. Hey, Bobby, why don't you just shut your yap? Huh, big and dumb. Ooh, what an unusual combination. So you must be looking to die, huh? Yeah, like that's gonna happen at the hands of some bulked up steroid freak like you. Do not trouble yourself, comrade. Allow me to deal with this Cossack. You're certainly welcome to try, comrade. Heck, Snowboy here's even welcome to join in. Gentlemen, this is not the time or place for your childish outbursts. Um, but he started it. Look, why do you always... Robert, be quiet. Yes, sir. As I was saying, a much bigger challenge awaits us. Apocalypse has placed several bombs on the lower seawall of Genosha. Should we attempt to retake the city, he would detonate them. Father, all of Genosha would flood. Thousands would drown. And that is why we must be cautious. A team is needed to remove the charges before we venture further into Genosha. Let us proceed immediately. Recent reports indicate the entire population of Genosha is under lock and key. Why would Apocalypse do that, Professor Xavier? He's looking for something or someone in particular. I suspect that is why he came to Genosha in the first place. I need a team of you, too. I'm done taking orders from you, little brother. You're always thinking you know what's best. That's because he does. So why don't you just quiet down? He's just saying what all the Brotherhood's thinking. Why don't Magneto get to give the orders? Toad, this isn't necessary. Charles and I discuss everything before a mission. Yes, well, back to matters at hand. A team is needed to work their way through Genosha and release all the prisoners. Once that's done, will we start looking for Apocalypse? Yes. Defeating him is the key to the freedom of Genosha. Hey, Red, you're not only easy on the eyes, you're smart, too. What do you say you and me hook up later? I bet you'll find out being bad is kinda good. You've just crossed a big line, Juggernaut. Scott, that's enough. But, Professor! This bickering has gone on far too long. Don't you people realize lives are at stake? We have no time to quarrel about our petty differences. Ah, that cuts it. Let's ditch the x -Gits. They're just slowing us down anyway. We need them, Toad. Apocalypse is far too powerful for us to defeat alone. And Charles is right. This infighting will stop. Or you will answer to me. Is that understood? <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. I'm so relieved that you agree. Charles, you were saying... Thank you, Eric. Freeing the prisoners will not be an easy task, and battling Apocalypse will be next to impossible. So be on your guard, and good luck to you. Honestly, Charles, I don't mind if everyone is helping out with relief in Genosha. 
An empty mansion means I can concentrate on locating Apocalypse's base. Understood. Have a pleasant evening, Beast. And you as well, Charles. I had come here for the Xavier Protocols, but I can make use of you as well. Let's get to the sub-basement. We can deal with our new pet later. You'll be blind without Cerebro, Xavier. Welcome to the Savage Land. I trust you're familiarizing yourselves with the area. Oh yeah. It's got raptors, pterodactyls, and pythons as big as cars. Real cozy place. And we think Beast might be here? Yeah. In the rubble of the X-Mansion, I found a message scratched into the wooden floor. It read, Savage Land. I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy to me. I had no idea you were such a pansy, Wolverine. But I guess that's why you talk so much and fight so little. That does it. You're dead meat. Wolverine, think of Polaris. Right. Yeah, we need these jerks to find her. But once this truce is over, you and me are gonna have a little chat, Juggernaut. Anytime you want, short stuff. Let me know when you're going to have this conversation, Wolverine. I may want to talk with Juggernaut as well. Charles. What is our first order of business here in the Savage Land? A short time ago, Mystique left to search the jungles for a mutant named Destiny. She recently took up residence in the Savage Lands. Apparently, neither woman has been heard from in quite some time. Do you suspect Mystique is up to something? With her, there's always that possibility. But right now, I'm merely concerned for her safety. Pyro followed her as far as the Jungle Canal. Search that area and see what you can find. Don't worry, Charles. We'll make certain Mystique's all right, and discover what mischief she's up to. Very good. Until we meet again. Greetings. It seems we have a situation that requires your immediate attention. While scouting the area, Angel discovered a small army preparing to destroy the atmospheric generators for the Savage Land. Excuse my ignorance, Professor. What are atmospheric generators? They are highly advanced equipment left behind by aliens long ago. The generators are what create the Savage Land's tropical environment. But if those generators are destroyed, this entire area will be plunged back into the Antarctic temperatures that surround it. My God, this is terrible. Thousands would freeze to death in a matter of hours. Good heavens, who would do something so vile? Unknown. There's some speculation they are the forces of a horseman of apocalypse. Well, we whipped the last one's butt in Genosha. Who's horseman number two? That is also unknown. Why do you people bother having these little brief and soirees? When all you do is raise more questions. They ask these questions so that when we're out in the field, we know what to look for. Thanks, Wanda. Now it makes complete sense. Go ahead. Keep talking, Chuck. <clears throat> As I was saying, a small army is about to attack the atmospheric generators. And you would like us to stop them before they can bring in your Ice Age to the Savage Land? Yes. And perhaps you could question them for information that would lead us to beasts. Oh, I am certain we'll be able to find time to ask them for the whereabouts of our friend. Very good. Until we meet again. We now have confirmation there is a horseman of apocalypse here at the Savage Land. What is his name, Professor Xavier? Mikhail Rasputin. No, not my brother. Mikhail. I'm afraid so, Colossus. <laughs> so you got a black sheep in the family too, huh, comrade? Well, don't feel so bad. My stepbrother is an embarrassment to me. Quiet, Juggernaut. Can't you see Colossus is in pain? Thank you, Wanda. You are very kind. Ah, uh, hey! What about my pain, Wanda? I feel very bad for poor old Colossus. Professor Xavier, how did my brother come to be a horseman of apocalypse? I don't know, but we must be extremely cautious. Mikhail is a force to be reckoned with. But there is good news. 
We know for certain Beast is here, but he's inside a buried temple. A temple we can't walk to because there's no path. And we can't fly there because Mikhail's put automated surface to air missiles everywhere. We'll never get there. That's not entirely true. Shana has informed me there may be a path to this temple, but it's in a particularly hazardous section of the jungle. Uh-huh. Is anyone else not thrilled at hearing this is a particularly hazardous section of the jungle? Sauron, an enemy of Khazar, dwells in this area of the jungle. We're not certain, but it must be assumed he has joined Mikhail's forces. So you think there might be a trap waiting for us? Most likely, but we have little choice. It is our only path to beast. Be careful, and good luck to you all. Our host Kezar has recently informed me a cache of anti-metal has been stolen. Anti-metal? What the heck is that? Isn't it an element that's able to destroy any known metal? Correct. Anti-metal was what brought Kezar's father to the savage land and eventually led to Kezar being stranded here. Most impressive, Wanda. You are as intelligent as you are lovely. Why, thank you, Colossus. Aye, aye! What's going on here? I mean, if you look past the fact Colossus is big and handsome and rugged, what's he got that I ain't got? It is indeed mind-blowing, isn't it, Toad? So, Charles, what is it that Kazar wants us to do? He believes the anti-metal was stolen by Mikhail's forces. He would like you to search the Nawali temple and see if you can find it and return it to him. Kazar does not want it to fall into Apocalypse's hands. If Mr. Sinister were able to replicate it, the results would be disastrous. Apocalypse's army would be unstoppable. No bank or military installation would be safe. Not to mention what it would do to an adamantium-laced skeleton like yours, mein guter Freund. Anti-metal sounds extremely dangerous, Charles. We'll find it and return it to Kazar. Very well, then. Be on your way. Destiny had a most disturbing vision of the future. It spoke of the death of Beast, a victory by Apocalypse, and your having been betrayed by a teammate. Ah, telling the future's a bunch of hogwash. Nobody really knows what's gonna happen. At least not with me, they don't. I don't know about that, Wolverine. Down in New Orleans, I seen plenty of people do it. And they's usually right. But she's talking about Beast dying. It can't be true. Rogue, I made the mistake of ignoring her predictions and lost Genosha because of it. Admittedly, this is disconcerting. But her predictions don't currently impact us. We are still planning on rescuing Beast. But what if he croaks because we try to save him? Maybe he'd be fine if we just leave him be. You know better than that, Cajun. We can't leave Beast in the hands of Apocalypse. Mm-hmm. You right. We gotta risk it. Hey, what about a prediction of one of us ratting the others out? Ain't we gonna do something about that? An interesting point, Toad. But what would you have us do? How should I know? You're the one with the big brain. You figure it out. All we can do is be vigilant and report anything out of the ordinary. Oh, I intend on keeping both eyes wide open for trouble. Very well then. Godspeed. HQ, this is Red 7 on patrol. We got a heavy storm front coming up. Other than that, all's quiet. Wait a minute. We got bogeys. Hundreds of them. HQ, what are my orders? shall bear witness to my greatness. 
I hold their leaders powerless, and their mightiest city is under my control. Soon, I will show this world a war, the likes of which has never been seen. I will weed out the weak and inferior, so that only the strong survive. Thanks to the efforts of Angel, we've located Apocalypse's primary source of energy in Ontario, Canada. It's a nuclear power plant known as the Core. So this Core is to be our next target? Yes, Mr. Wagner. Our goal will be to render that facility useless to Apocalypse. All right, finally we get a fun mission. I ain't never busted up a nuclear power plant before. That ought to make a lot of noise when it goes off. I'm sorry, Juggernaut, but we have to be a bit more careful than that. Charles is adamant that we avoid a nuclear meltdown. Hmm. Don't that sound just like my little brother? Always taking the fun out of everything. Once the team arrives at the core, Forge will take them through very specific steps to shut down the facility. Hey, uh, uh, hold on a tick. How do we know this ain't some kind of trap? You know, like Destiny was saying, a team member is gonna betray us. Are you suggesting Angel would send us into a trap? Oh, I'm not suggesting it. I'm saying it right out loud. Angel might be handing us over to Apocalypse. You know, the little guy's got a point. Ah, that is preposterous. Angel would never do such a thing. But what about that shore bloke Angel got the info from? Maybe he's working for Apocalypse, and he's sending us to our doom. What would you have us do, Toad? Trust no one? Never leave on another mission? There's a thought. No. I will not allow us to fall into the trap of second-guessing every action. We're going to the core, and that's final. Thanks to Department H, we have the location of the factory that produces Apocalypse's army. <laughs> His army's produced? Yes. Infinites are clones created from vats of genetic material and then enhanced with cybernetic implants. Wow. And thousands of those get cranked out every day? It's no wonder Apocalypse had such an easy time attacking New York City and Genosha. If we were to disable that factory, we'd strike a severe blow to Apocalypse. His unending supply of soldiers would dry up. So, what's the price? I beg your pardon? Department H told us the location. What do they want in return, huh? Money? Information? Manpower? I know those boys, and they don't work for free. Is Wolverine always this distrustful? Bah. It takes him a while to trust someone. Yeah. <laughs> Usually four or five years. Go ahead and make your jokes. But I got plenty of reasons to suspect Department H. I can't tell you the number of times they tried to force me back into their little family. Department H did make a request of us. I knew it. I just knew it. They asked if we could look for James McDonald Hudson while we were at the factory. He was sent there a while ago to do reconnaissance, and he hasn't been heard from since. They got James. We can't be certain. Then we better get there pronto and find out. As you wish, Wolverine. Team, the best of luck to you at the Infinite Factory. Emma, can you broadcast to everyone here at the briefing? Need you ask, Charles? It's not as if I'm a first-year student. No, of course not. My apologies. Would you be so kind as to tell everyone what you've learned? Certainly. Charles asked me to discover who, or what, is responsible for the coma suffered by the leaders during the attack on New York City. Yes. The military was paralyzed because of it, and they still haven't recovered. It was a rather masterful stroke on the part of Apocalypse. But after a long search, I was able to confirm those comas were indeed psychic-induced. Who would do such a thing, Emma? I'm fairly certain this is the work of former students of mine. The Stepford Cuckoos? Please, Bobby. I'd appreciate you not using that title. Aren't those the three sisters who left the school after the fourth one was killed during a mission? Yes. And they've always blamed me for her death. I imagine they joined Apocalypse as some misguided attempt at revenge. So, where are these young ladies now? 
I trace them to an ancient temple in Canada. Apocalypse has a large number of his priests guarding them. Apocalypse has priests? Oh, yes. True to his egomaniacal form, Apocalypse has built an entire cult that worships him. They call themselves Madri Priests. What would you have us do, Miss Frost? I'll meet you at the front of the temple, and we'll explore the interior together. If this does turn out to be the work of my girls, they're going to find out in exquisite detail just how unhappy I am. Boy, glad I'm not them. Very good, Emma. A team will be sent immediately. Thank you, Charles, my sweet. I await their arrival. How may I be of assistance? What of the spy we captured? He has adapted to the genetic splicing even better than hoped. Show him to me. and meet your master. The name Angel no longer applies. What would you have us call you? I am Archangel, a horseman of Apocalypse, and I am yours to command. Your speed and strength have been augmented, but what of your soul? My soul is filled with hatred, rage, and death. For the X-Men. Greetings. It seems we have a mission of mercy to carry out. To the north of us, Apocalypse's military is driving several hundred humans toward the ocean. It's just a matter of time before they're captured. Magneto, we're not equipped to handle an evacuation that big. Bolivar Trask is... The man who invented Sentinels? Yes, that Bolivar Trask. He's using a fleet of his Sentinels as an airlift for the refugees. So why do we care? Let the Sentinels save him. The problem is, Apocalypse has set up a series of defensive platforms along the coast. Those platforms will destroy any Sentinel that comes near. I'm guessing they want us to take out the platforms so the Sentinels have a clear path. That is correct, Cyclops. But the Sentinels are going to attack as soon as we're in their sights. Great! So we wind up fighting both Apocalypse's men and Sentinels. Not this time. The programming's been rewritten such that, to them, we'll look exactly like humans. Uh, is anyone else here getting that this is a recipe for disaster feeling? I would have thought an X-Man would jump at a chance to do a good deed such as this. Oh, I'll do it. But you all better be prepared for a big I told you so if something goes haywire, huh? Thank you for that thrilling insight. If there are no further questions, be on your way. Before we can hope to defeat Apocalypse, we must first determine how to gain entry to his stronghold. You want us to go inside Apocalypse's tower? <laughs> That's deft. It can't be done. Watch it, Toad. Right, right. I almost forgot. We're one big, happy, dysfunctional family. If I may continue, Moira believes Sebastian Shaw might be of help. Shaw's bad news, Professor. He's the head of the Hellfire Club, and they aren't exactly big fans of the X-Men. I understand, Bishop, but it's because of his unsavory connections that he might know secrets of Apocalypse. He also might want to hand us over for a nice reward. I... Somehow, this has got to figure into Destiny's prediction. Toad, I ain't warning you again. Ah, all right. So what do you want us to do, Professor? Travel to New York City and find Mr. Shaw. Then see if he has the information we desire and what he would like in return. How about we persuade him the old-fashioned way? Wolverine, ain't you ever gonna learn? You can't solve every problem with your fists. Don't know. Ain't never run across a problem I couldn't solve with my fists. No, there will be no violence against Mr. Shaw. Simply find him and see if we can reach an agreement. Any questions? Then good luck to you. Now that we've gained access to Apocalypse's tower, we are at the most critical juncture of our endeavor. The way through this stronghold will not be an easy one. But Professor, 
Even if we do somehow manage to beat Apocalypse, there's still the small matter of all his defenses around New York City. Bishop is right. There is no telling what Apocalypse might do if he's defeated. Remember, he was willing to flood all of Genosha. And that's precisely why I'm having Beast meet you once you've arrived at the top of the tower. From there, he'll be able to shut down any destructive devices Apocalypse might have activated. Not to sound like a skipping record, but what about Destiny's prediction? What's a record? Will you flip and listen to me? We're supposed to be handed over to Apocalypse! Who's to say you're not the one to turn us in, Toad? Me? Me? Have you gone loony? I'm the one who's been trying to warn you all along! Methinks Toad doth protest too much. But you put a cork in it, kid? We're close to the end of the mission, and Destiny's prediction hasn't come true yet! Perhaps for once she is wrong, Toad. Yes, we'll have to assume her prediction will not come true. We can take no other course of action than the one we've decided. Now be on your way, and the best of luck to you. What's going on here? Where am I? Cease your struggles. Those restraints are composed of adamantium, a metal which even your elephantine strength cannot break. I'm gonna paint this whole room with your blood! Though limited, your vocabulary is certainly colorful. <laughs> you can't do this! You're an X-Man! You're an X-Man! I am... Was an X-Man. Having second thoughts, beast? No. No. Not at all. What of the Nexus? How soon until it is functional? Sinking four genomes is no small feat. The energy generated by infusing these four mutant genes is far greater than had been guessed. Perhaps even more than you could cope with. You underestimate me, beast. Once I wield the power of the Four, I will be invincible. None will stand in my way, and I will see to it. The X-Men and the Brotherhood are utterly annihilated. <laughs> Having chased Apocalypse through the teleporter atop his tower, our team wound up here in Giza, Egypt. With the aid of the X-Jet, we brought the rest of the team and are preparing for a final assault on Apocalypse's lair. How's Angel? Mentally, he's shaken up. But given time, he should recover from the mind control drugs of Mr. Sinister. Physically, I don't know if we'll ever be able to return him to his natural form. Is Beast being controlled the same way Angel was? Most definitely. If we can free him from Apocalypse, we should have little trouble clearing his mind. Now that Apocalypse has the four mutants he needs for his machine, is this something we should be concerned about? That's difficult to say until we find out exactly what it is. And my son is a part of this machine? Just like Polaris, Emma Frost, and Sabretooth. Then we must move swiftly, Xavier. I will not risk my son's life one more second. Do you hear? I've done as you asked me up to this point, but I cannot wait a moment longer. I understand, Eric. But for us to succeed, we must first locate Beast. That's preposterous, Xavier. Why should I risk my son's life just to save one of your X-Men? Think about it, Magneto. Apocalypse left the teleporter on in New York to deliberately lure us here. A trap is waiting for us. Yes. If we can free Beast, he might be able to warn us what the trap is. Very well. We'll do it your way, Xavier. But may the gods help you if my son is harmed. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Now, be on your way. We have no time to waste. Jean, how is Beast doing? The only real damage done was to his pride. He feels terrible for how he acted. But he wasn't responsible for his actions. Mr. Sinister's drugs had taken control of his mind. I've told him that, but he refuses to listen. In time, he'll come around. He's already starting to talk about rebuilding the X-Mansion. So let's cut to the chase. What are we up against? What is this big, bad experiment of Apocalypse? To begin with, Apocalypse was searching for four mutants with harmonic DNA. 
So that's why he set up prisons in Genosha and New York City. Yes, and eventually he found his four. Polaris, Quicksilver, Emma Frost, and Sabretooth. But what is harmonic DNA? Think of the four people as four musical notes. If their pitches, or DNA, are just right, they will resonate and strengthen each other. Okay, so he has four mutants whose powers go well together. What does that mean? If those four are placed in the device Beast transcribed from the Nuwali Temple, their powers can be transferred to one individual. And that individual just has to be our good buddy Apocalypse. Exactly. The process takes time to reach its peak, so we have a window of opportunity. But if we delay too long, Apocalypse will become invincible, and he will once again bring war to us. And this time, he will not fail. Be on your way, and move quickly. Everyone is safe, and Apocalypse is defeated, Eric. Defeated, yes, but not destroyed. True, but we'll be prepared should he ever return. Ever the Optimus, eh, Charles? And why not? Look what we accomplished together. Imagine the good we could continue to achieve. Give up your childish dreams. One day soon, they could be your undoing. Never, Eric. The world needs dreamers to give it a soul. And it needs realists to keep it alive. Professor, Magneto's a lost cause. Why waste time on him? There were a dozen times Eric could have handed us over to Apocalypse in exchange for his child, but he didn't. And that proves there is hope for even the hardest of hearts. I still don't quite understand how Apocalypse lost control of the power. The only way that could have happened is if the device had been tampered with. Forget about it, Beast. Your machine wasn't perfect, that's all. It's not like someone would have sabotaged it. 